Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation of our paper NNLQP, a multi-platform neural network latency query and prediction system with an evolving database. The latency of deep neural networks is important for model compression, neural network search, and special acceleration unit development. Considering hardware latency in DNN design can accelerate inference speed or improve accuracy, as proved by previous works. Many works focus on reducing the computation amount, perms, or memory access, of the model. However, these metrics are not good proxies for the latency feedback since some hardware has unique designs, example, TensorCore in NVIDIA Touring GPU and KB-level memory storage in STM-MCU. Currently, the latency acquiring methods could be classified into latency evaluation and latency prediction. For latency evaluation, deploying models onto multiple devices can be expensive, it requires hardware expertise and many engineering efforts. Moreover, the obtained latency information and development pipeline cannot be reused effectively. For latency prediction methods, there are two main challenges. First, existing works, example, TPU performance and NN meter, divide a model inference into multiple kernels, which relies on the hypothesis that the latency of kernels can be summed up as the model latency. However, the hypothesis might be invalid due to hardware graph fusion and kernel launch cost and cause a gap between the true latency and predicted latency, such as figure 2. Second, some works, for example, BRPNAS, propose to predict model latency in a specific search space but they lack of unified representation of the DNN and fail to fit another search space. To alleviate the aforementioned problems of latency evaluation and prediction, we propose NNLQP, which is composed of the Neural Network Latency Query System NNLQ and the Neural Network Latency Prediction System NNLP. For NNLQ, we realize automatic multi-platform model deployment and evaluation. Employ a MySQL database to store models and their latencies. And retrieval DNN models by a hash-based graph encoding scheme. For NNLP, we extract unified graph embeddings for deep neural networks. Predict model latency of multiple hardware platforms simultaneously. And conduct transfer learning for unseen structures and unseen platforms. The figure display the pipeline of NNLQP, Bold colored arrows indicate the latency query or prediction procedure, thin black arrows denote the scheme to obtain latency predictors. NNLQP can query latency and predict latency with a unified interface. Utilize the plentiful and evolving data stored in the database. Improve the latency prediction accuracy by 12.31%. Improve the latency query efficiency 1.8 times and improve the accuracy of NAS application by 1.2%. The proposed NNLQ can perform automatic model deployment and latency measurement on multiple platforms. Step 1. Model Transformation ONNX models are converted into the executable codes, for example, Tensort Engine. Step 2. Device Acquisition The system manages and allocates devices by RPC interface. Mini CPU, GPU, and ASIC devices are supported as shown in the table. Step 3 Latency Measurement Upload the model and libraries to the device, infer the model, and collect latency. To achieve fast retrieval of DNN models, we propose a graph hash encoding method. Given a deep neural network G, we first define the hash encoding of node V, H underscore V, where F hash is the hash function. F sort is the sort function, AV is the set of attributes, OPLIS is the concat function, SUC, V, denotes successor nodes of node V. Then, the hash encoding of the neural network can be defined as HG, where PRE, U, denotes predecessor nodes of node U. As shown in the figure, we calculate the node hash encodings in reverse topological order. It is guaranteed that for each node, its encoding is computed after all its successors. We then use a MySQL database to store latency records and DNN models. The entity relationship diagram is shown as the figure. For model retrieval, 
we compare graph hash encodings to judge whether two networks are the same. NNLQ will respond quickly if the query latency record hits inside the database. To predict model latency accurately, it is important to extract features of the neural network. We propose a unified graph embedding method. We first define the node feature of node VFV0, where FV code is the one hot vector indicating the node operator type, FV attribute is the node attribute vector, and FV shape is V is the output shape encoding. Then we extract node embeddings with the graph neural network graph sage, where W1i, W2i are two parameters of the ITHSAGCONV layer, NV denotes the neighbor node set of node V, and the sum symbol denotes the aggregation method. When i equals 0, fvi is the node feature. Finally, we can define the unified graph embedding of g, where fg static is the overall static feature that contains four values, batch size, flops, parameters, and memory access. By concatenating the static feature and the reduced node embedding, we can get a unified graph embedding of a DNN model. The computation step of the unified graph embedding is shown as the figure. Given a neural network, we first extract node features, then extract node embeddings by GNN, and finally get the graph embedding. The proposed predictor NNLP uses the shared GNN backbone to extract the graph embedding and attaches multi-heads to predict latency for multiple platforms. As shown in the figure, the prediction head is composed of fully connected layers, relo layers, and dropout layers. The multi-platform training strategy is displayed in algorithm 1. For each sample, G, I, Y, I, P, I, P, I is the target platform. While training, the mean square error function is used to compute loss, and each iteration will update the parameters of both the shared GNN-based encoder and the predictor head for platform pi. Since our NNLP contains a GNN-based backbone that can be shared, it is convenient to perform transfer learning for unseen structures and unseen platforms. For transfer learning on an unseen structure type MX, we first load pre-trained parameters for F alpha and G beta, and then fine-tune parameters alpha, beta with few new samples with new model type MX. For transfer learning on an unseen platform PX, we first load the pre-trained parameters of the multi-platform predictor for F alpha, and then fine-tune parameters alpha, beta px with new samples with p equals px. Compared with learning from scratch, transfer learning enables training with fewer new samples and saving the training cost. Next is the experiments. We construct a latency dataset to evaluate the performance of latency prediction methods. We select nine state-of-the-art DNN models, and then transform each one to get 2,000 variants with various kernel sizes and output channels. 2,000 models in NAS Bench 201 are also added. We use NNLQ to perform latency measurement and runs each model 50 times on the target device to get the latency ground truth. Our latency predictor is implemented by PyTorch. During training, the ADAM method is used to optimize parameters, and predictors are trained on a GTX 1660 GPU. We use mean absolute percentage error and error bound accuracy as the evolution metrics. We first analyze the cost of obtaining the model latency through different methods, query true latency by NNLQ and predict latency by NNLP. We choose 100 DNN models from 10 families and obtain their latencies on 9 platforms. We set the hit ratio of NNLQ to 0%, 50%, and 100% respectively to evaluate the query efficiency. The result is shown in Table 2. The database cache mechanism can effectively improve the efficiency of true latency acquisition. Currently, the hit ratio of NNLQ is about 53%, so the overall speedup is about 1.8. Up to now, NNLQ stores 63 platforms, 200k models and 700k plus latencies, and the database size is about 10 gigabytes. Besides, our NNLP is fast, which is close to the less complex predictor flops plus MAC. The latency prediction is faster than hit 100%. Because the query requires calculating the graph hashing using CPU and accessing the remote database, while predictor runs with GPU. 
so the query is much slower. We compare the latency prediction performance of NNLP with that of related works. The dataset contains 20,000 models and their latencies on GPU GTX 1660. The comparison results are shown as Table 3. It reveals that NNLP achieved the best average prediction effect, 12.31% ACC, 10%, higher than the second best method. Compared with FLOPS, FLOPS plus MAC gets 10.44% MAPE improvement. It shows that memory access is an important latency factor. Kernel-based methods cannot realize satisfying results. Because model latency is not always equal to the sum of kernel latencies. NNLP uses the unified graph embedding directly, which avoids the problem of unreliable additivity. To measure the impact of different components in NNLP, we conducted ablation analysis for three aspects, node features, GNN, and static features. The results are shown as Table 4. The absence of one of three components will result in a significant performance drop. The prediction accuracy of without F0V, without GNN, and without F static G gradually increases. It shows that for the importance of latency prediction, node features GNN static features. Then we check the universality of NNLP. We perform the kernel latency prediction by NNLP and compare results with NNMeter and TPU as Table 5. It shows that NNLP can get slightly better performance 7.67% than NNMeter 8.33% and TPU 8.01% in terms of MAPE. Our NNLP method supports multi-platform joint training. We compare the performance of multi-models and a single model with multi-heads. As Table 6, the average performance of multi-models and single is close, the ACC, 10%, is 80.6% versus 79.51%. Besides, compared with the multi-models, the single model saves about 9 times of prediction cost. It shows that our NNLP can reduce the predictor quantity for multi-platform latency prediction, shorten the training cycle, and achieve performance the same as multi-models. We then conduct experiments of transfer learning. For unseen structures, the results are displayed as figure 6. For all model families, orange curves are above the blue one. It indicates that for different amounts of training samples, transfer learning always achieves better performance. Besides, the fewer training samples, transfer learning can achieve greater improvement. It shows that transfer learning is more useful with the support of few samples. For unseen platforms, the results are displayed as figure 7. The improvement of different platforms brought by the pre-trained model is different. For HI 35, 19, A9, 12, and 8, a small count of samples can get better improvement. For GPU T4 TRT7.1 FP32, all numbers of samples bring obvious improvement. For Figure 7E, orange curves are above the blue one. It indicates that NNLP can transfer the model latency knowledge learned from other platforms to a new platform and increase its accuracy limit. We also intend to explore how the pre-trained predictor of classification models contributes to the predictor of detection models. As shown in Figure 8, NNLP can well transfer the latency knowledge from classification tasks to detection tasks. With transfer learning, the data required to achieve satisfactory accuracy reduces from 1,000 to 50, contributing to a 20 times superior data efficiency. We also verify how latency predictors help an AS task. As shown in Figure 9, the Pareto front chosen from 1,000 models, which are sampled from OFA SuperNet with different metric. The Kendall Tau correlation coefficient between true latency and three indicators, FLOPS, lookup table, and NNLP is 0 0.87, 0 0.91, 0 0.92 for 250M to 550M, and 0 0.38, 0 0.53. 0.73 for around 300M. With the same latency, the accuracy gain of the Pareto front models from latency predictor is 1.2% compared with flops and 0.6% compared with lookup table. In this work, we investigate latency acquiring problems for two aspects, 
latency query and latency prediction. For latency query, we perform multi-platform model measurement, cache latency by MySQL, and retrieval model by the graph hash encoding. For latency prediction, we propose the unified graph embedding, multi-heads for multi-platform predictor, and transfer learning for few samples. In the future, we will focus on how compilation parameters and latency profile results help the latency predictor. Thanks for watching.